Welcome to the Minnesota Association of Realtors e-video resource. My name is Chris Galler. Today we're going to talk about market facts in uncertain times. Your National Association of Realtors Research Division has put together a host of information about what's happening in the housing marketplace, information you should know, information you should tell your consumers, clients, and friends so that there's a broad base of knowledge about what's occurring in the market right now. Some basic truths. Housing affordability right now is at a generational high. Historically low interest rates and moderated home prices have made and helped make real estate more affordable than any time in the past 40 years. Most economists expect home values to begin rising in the coming years and we'll look at some stats on what their predictions are. Recently originated loans are performing well and homeowners do much better financially over the long term than renters do. After all, everyone is buying a house. You're either buying it for yourself or for your landlord. The economy is growing. Although growing slowly, the truth is that the economy is doing better after a number of very difficult quarters. That doesn't mean it's rebounded all the way, but we're at least above the zero line, which is a good sign of positive growth. The private sector is finally creating jobs. After many months of job losses, we have seen more jobs created than eliminated. The numbers are still soft, but it appears the worst of the recession is over and employers are starting to hire. Please note, this is a fairly typical trend. The biggest difference is the number of layoffs experienced during the worst parts of this recession. Consumer confidence. Although far lower than it was during most of the last decade, consumer confidence has been stabilizing since the spring of 2009. Consumer confidence is important to housing sales because people generally will not take on long-term debts unless they are confident about their future. For people considering a fixed rate mortgage, the time could not be better. We have mortgage interest rates that have not been seen since the early 1960s. Consumers interested in purchasing a move-up home are in the best position to take advantage of these rates. One concern you and your clients should be aware of is that interest rates at some point will be going up. If consumers are waiting for their homes to revalue back to 2006 levels before selling, the interest rate increases will more than eat up any of the affordability gains they'll get. With rates at just over 4%, an increase back to 6%, which is only 2% increase, will require consumers to pay 50% more interest than if they take out the loan at 4%. Very few incomes will increase 50% between now and when interest rates move back into normal range. Home prices are beginning to stabilize for both existing and new markets. The 10K report, which is available throughout most of your local associations and weekly in some metro areas, can help you track these changes and better educate your clients about the market dynamics. Even the Case-Shiller Index, one many realtors hated during the downfall, has demonstrated stability over the past 12 months. Will the values return to market highs anytime soon? No. We're not going back to 2005, 2006, 2007. Instead, we'll see the marketplace balance out with income, debt, interest rates, down payments, and home prices, making up the critical in ingredients for a sustainable values. Home price to income ratios. Values and commitments outpaced earnings significantly during the bubble period. Note a similar trend was in place during the last housing bubble in the late 1970s and early 1980s. As you can see from the chart, for the last two quarters we've been in a very good position as far as home price compared to income. Although not strong growth, home values are slowly going to begin gaining over the next few years. For the consumer you're working with who thinks we'll see 8 or 10 percent appreciation rates soon, they must be smarter than 100 economists associated with Robert Schiller. That's the same Robert Schiller who does the Case Schiller Report. They're anticipating that we'll see about a 1 percent increase in 2011, about a 2.5 percent in 2012, and a little more than 3 in 2013. Bad mortgages, lending practices, poor consumer decisions, and significant deflation in home values has led to high delinquency rates. This has led to excess inventory levels and a number of future home buyers with damaged credit. 
Good news though, it appears that foreclosures and delinquencies are slowing, which will reduce the distressed inventory levels, which should help home prices going forward. Almost a third of all homeowners don't owe any money on their homes at all. So if you're looking for clients in the marketplace who are equity rich, about a third of all homeowners have no debt on their properties. This percentage also is not included in the delinquency reports. And then last but not least, homeowners do much better economically than renters. Tracking back to 1995, you can see that homeowners consistently have more median family net worth than renters. There is no better reason to own a home than to accumulate net worth. Even after the difficult times we've faced, homeowners are better off economically than renters. Uh, the slides were produced by the National Association of Realtors Research Team. We hope that you have a great week.